1 minus meter equal to des gigameter. You are convert this question micrometer to gigameter. Anybody tell me what is the first rule of unit conversion? Some rule. I am not uh, asking you a property. I am asking you a rule. What is the rule of uh, unit conversion? It means uh, when we convert one unit to another unit, then what rule are we use for conversion purpose? Conversion purpose. What rule we are use? That uh, just like we uh, take one example. First, you tell me what is base unit. Base unit. Base. Fundamental unit. Give example of base unit. Base unit it means that is not change. Change at the change the upper units and lower units. That unit between the upper unit and lower unit that is known as base unit. Give any examples of base unit. Meter, yes. And any other? Kilogram. Good. Next? No, no, no. That is fundamental. Can you realize fundamental physical condition? Meter, mole, kilogram. No, no. Second is also sensible now. This is not sensible. Just like meter. We can change meter. We can change meter. We can change meter into centimeter, millimeter, any others. You know about the uh, first we talk one second. Uh, first we talk here one base unit. Base unit. Meter, kilometer, sorry, kilometer not meter, gram, mole. You know about mole? Uh, then uh, this base unit, this is all. This all are base unit. And the base units lower side stand decimeter, millimeter, micrometer, these all are. You know about this? Yes. And upside decameter, hectometer, kilometer, gigameter, megameter. You know about this? Yes. Okay. So the first rule, when we move one factor to another factor, it means here, uh, suppose here, uh, gigameter, was, uh, Kilometer, megameter, kilo, mega, giga. So first rule. First rule when we move one factor to another factor, top to bottom. Top to bottom. Yeah. Top to bottom. Then what happens? It means when we change one giga meter equal to this kilometer. One giga meter equal to this kilometer. Then what happens? Factor value. First we learn. Uh, first we know about this factor value. 10 to the power 3. 10 to the power 6. 10 to the power 9. 9. Then you tell me what happens. What happens when we move from one factor to another factor. Top to bottom. It means when we move top to bottom. Then what happens? Factor value are added or reduced? Reduce. Reduce. It means the first rule is unit conversion. The first rule of unit conversion is when we move top to bottom, then factor value will be reduced. When we move top to bottom, then factor value will be reduced. When we move bottom to top, 
then capital value are added. Uh, you learn these topics, no? Yes or no? Yes. No. Yes, you all are know. When we move uh, top to bottom or bot to, uh, bottom to top, then um, first bot, top to bottom means factor value will be reduced, uh, bottom to top means factor value will be added. First rule. And second rule, when we move uh, one factor to another factor, cross the base unit. Cross the base unit. Then what happens? Cross the base unit. Then factor value will be uh, factor value will be negative. When we uh, when when we move one factor to another factor above the base unit or below the base unit, then factor value will be positive. These three rule are uh, these three rule for this conversions. You all are not uh, are not know. Yes, yes, you know. Okay. So next uh, we will talk about motion. First, you tell me what is motion. Anybody tell me what is motion? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you, Sita. The first of distance, this in the motion chapter, we talk about distance. distance and displacement displacement distance and displacement if we talk about circular motion when a body move on the circular motion for complete cycle it means a start point and it means initial point and final point are same that is for, uh, that is for complete cycle. Yes or no? Yes. yes. So for uh, one body can move on the circle or circular path uh, for complete cycle. Then what its displacement? Zero. Zero. When one body move uh, from a start point A to B, the radius of this circle is R. The radius of the circle is R and center O. The angle is formed 120 degree. 120 degree. Then what is the displacement between them? You did not understand. First you, uh, first you learn the cost sir. When an object move on circular path, when one object is move on circular path from A to B, given a figure from A to B, here the radius of circular path is R and angle formed is 120 degree, 120, 120 degree, 120 degree. Then what is displacement between A and B? This is the famous question for board examination. The MCQ. MCQ. You all are uh, learn the uh, motion chapter because motion is second chapter. No? You know what to talk about. Then you first solve it. Anybody can solve it? 120 into R. 1? 20 R. No, no, here um, the R. value of R is not given, so answer R uh, come, come in R's ask for. 2 R. 2 R or 2 R? Show me. Show me where are you showing? Rafi saw. Uh, okay, we will solve it. Uh, check uh, two R or two R. Uh, those are coming. Uh, we will check. First, you uh, know about the 
Vector, vector. Yes. This is a vector. And this is also a vector. Radius of circle is same all side. Yes or no? Yes. And this is resultant vector. This resultant vector is known as displacement of this question. Yes or no? Yes. This resultant vector is known as uh, the displacement for this question. The first there here the angle is 120 degree when we find this line then what happens uh, for this uh, this both lines addition or subtraction addition or subtraction addition what the rule of addition the rule of vector addition is what say what say the vector addition rule what is the vector addition rule? When we add two vector quantity, um, tail to head or head to tail? Yes. Hair is not head to tail or tail to head. So first we arrange the head to tail or tail to head. Yes. It means when we arrange its head to tail, then it is come in subtraction form. It means we check this resultant vector, this is head of this vector and this is the tail of this vector because displacement is also vector quantity. So when we subtract from this both, this both quantity or both lines, then the resultant is this. The R, it means R1, R2. R1 equal to R minus R2. This is written as for this equation. It means this is resultant vector. The resultant is the sum of two vectors. It means when we can add, when we add this vector and this vector, then we find this vector. But, uh, but uh, we get a uh, we want to find this vector, sorry, edge, sub, uh, we write, write as subtraction, but here is not subtraction, edge. Okay. So we write as R equal to R1 minus R2. R1 minus R2. R1 minus R2. Uh, what is the formula of subtraction under root? R equal to under root R1 square plus R2 square plus 2R1 R2 cos theta for addition but there is subtraction so we can use the subtraction okay here r1 and r2 both are same because both are the radius of the circle so we can write here r and here also r Yes or no? Yes, it is R square plus R square equal to 2 R square yes, minus here R here R it is 2 R square R into R here R and R R into R square to uh, R, R into R square to R, 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 R square our coefficient is 2 so we can write 2 R square yes, cos theta yes, cos theta 2R is common? Yes or no? Yes. 1 minus cos theta. You know the formula of 1 minus cos theta? 2 sin square theta by 2. You know or don't know? 
2r square into it means 2 sin square theta by 2 2 sin square theta by 2 it means 2 to the 4 when we uh, solve the square root then come out 2 r square means r sin square means sin theta by 2 ok it means 2 of, uh, now we can solve this question from this formula 2r sin theta by 2 here 2r means r because not given the value of r in this question so we can write the uh, r means r only r ok if in the question given the value of r then we prove otherwise leave it yes or no and sin theta by 2 what is the value of theta 120 120 by 2 means 60 60 so 60 the sin 60 it means 2r sin 60 means root 3 by 2 yes sir root 3 by 2 here 2 to cancel that means root 3r that is the right answer for this question we always remember, we always memorize this formula. This is uh, always applicable for circuit concept. When we, any time we find the circuit, uh, displacement of any circular path, then we use this formula. If uh, object move any angles, uh, object move on any angle. Okay. If you want, then you write now. Your answer is 3R, not 2R. 2R. 